guys! So today I am going to be doing my very first DIY video and that stands for Glam It Yourself. So I just took DIY and replaced the D with a G and instead of Do It Yourself, it's Glam It Yourself. This is going to be a new little series that I'm starting here on my channel because I asked you guys on Twitter if you would like to see like Do It Yourself projects and decor projects because I finally decided how I want to decorate my apartment so I'm kind of just going to be revamping everything and I have a lot of do-it-yourself or DIY glam it yourself decor projects and just little things around the house that can be really helpful so I thought that I would share my tips with you guys so today I am going to be showing you how to make little brush holders so this is the brush holder that I made it's sparkly and pretty and girly and you can put your makeup brushes in it you can also use these containers to hold little knickknacks that you have like stuff in your bathroom just loose items cotton balls cotton swabs just so you can stay more organized so I'm going to show you how to take a candle like this a used up candle and turn it into a pretty sparkly brush holder or whatever kind of holder you want it to be so I am going to be using a Slatkin and Co candle like this but this will work with any glass container or candle this will work with like Yankee candles and stuff I just happen to have Slatkin and Co candles so it's going to be from this to this and I'm really excited to show you guys so let's go ahead and jump into everything the first thing you'll need is wax paper to cover the working area you'll also need some Mod Podge in the gloss or matte finish glitter in the color of your choice I will be using Martha Stewart's purple sapphire some regular nail polish remover a couple cotton pads a craft and glue brush a completely used up candle that's been in the freezer for several hours or overnight and a knife use the knife to trace around the edge of the candle to loosen the wax insert the knife near the center and twist to make the wax crack you can now remove the chunks easily this is why it's important to freeze the candle the wax becomes less sticky and pops right out now it's time to remove the wicks that are glued to the bottom of the glass container. Take a microwave safe glass and fill it with water. Then pop it in the microwave for about a minute to heat it up. Pour the hot water into the glass container and carefully swirl it around to melt the glue. Now you can use the knife to easily remove the wicks. Then use a little soap and a sponge to clean out the inside of the container. The label at the bottom can easily be removed with a knife. And the label on the front can be peeled off with your fingers. Now give the container one last wash. And remove any stubborn residue with a cotton pad and nail polish remover. Next, paint a thin layer of Mod Podge onto the inside of the container. Try to keep it as even as possible to avoid any noticeable globs. It should look something like this when you're finished. To add sparkle, pour a generous amount of glitter into the container. Turn the container onto its side and rotate it to evenly distribute the glitter. And don't worry if some of the glitter falls out. That's what the wax paper is for. You can use the wax paper to pour that extra glitter back into the original jar. Tap the sides of the container to check for excess glitter that may still be hanging on and set it aside to dry. Allow several hours for everything to dry completely and then pour plant filler, which you can find at a craft store, into the container. Once it's filled up, you can start adding your makeup brushes. So that is pretty much it. And I just want to show you guys this one because I did make another one. This is like a rose gold color and I love this one. So I think I'm going to put my eyeshadow brushes in 
this one and then I'll put my face brushes in this one. So I had a lot of fun doing this video and just doing this little craft. So if you have any requests for me, be sure to leave them down below in the comments or you can tweet me on Twitter using the hashtag MissGlamRequests and I always find great requests from you guys. So if you have an idea for another GIY video, let me know. And I feel like there was one more thing that I was going to say. Oh, another idea for these little containers. I actually put Allison's housewarming gift in a little container like this. Hers was a little bit more bronze though. And I just filled it with like soap and a hand lotion and some chocolate just to welcome her into her new apartment. And it worked out really well. And she can still use the container for like a brush holder or whatever she wants to use it for. I think these are great to have in your apartment or home because they're sparkly, really versatile, and how can something that's sparkly not make you happy, right? So I think that is going to be it for today, and I will see you guys later.